Hey everyone, so today I am releasing my motion capture camera in Source Filmmaker. I redid this myself because previously I did it on Vi VR, and I actually used that one. What I'm showing you today, today is actually way better than what I showed off in um, The Lost Wolves. But yeah, it's a real-life motion capture camera. I actually attached my phone camera to the tracker and used it as a real-life camera, but now we can use it in Source Filmmaker. So under uh, Mod CSGO and the uh, model viewer here, we're going to spawn in a editor slash camera dot MDL. And we should get this very basic... Uh, camera here. This is going to be our reference model. We're going to attach a camera to it. But first, we're going to go ahead and import our motion camera. Right now, uh, currently, I've named it Real Cam Take One in Steam Workshop. It might be named differently, but yeah. So we just uh, imported that animation to the camera. It should go back to the uh, zero zero point in the source world. That's fine. Just hold Shift, bring it closer to us, and now we're going to just go to the rotate panel and type in ninety. That should get us um, basically where we want to be. Um, now. I'm going to hold Alt and shift this a little bit here, um, just trying to get more of the animation in it, for, um, trying to get rid of this bit. But you'll notice that the camera's off a little bit. Um, that's no problem. All you got to do is go to, at least for me, the green here. Probably be hard to see with the... Um, the blue camera here, but we're just going to rotate that a little bit, try to get it as accurately as we can level with the floor. Um, but you'll notice uh, it's not really probably going to be level with the floor for long because once you play, it's going to wiggle around in a, in a three-dimensional space here. And um, as we zoom through, you'll see that it's actually kind of um, moving around in the 3D space. So what we need to do next is create a new camera. So that's going to be camera six for me. Um, we're going to uh, switch to that camera and then pilot it, bring it into the camera here and try to get this even as if our camera is the model here. So we're just going to try to put it here. And this is useful for reference too because I've done a lot of this before. But, you know, generally you want the, uh, bar, the black bar here to be level with the, the camera here. Um, so once we have that done, we just want to go to... Uh, poly mesh and then drag that to the camera we want to use uh, and then drop that on top of it and then go to transform and then just play head everything. So now we will see that our camera is attached to that animation and we have our um, camera moving around in a 3D space. Um, so this is just version 1. Um, it certainly has a lot to uh, be improved on, but um, you'll see that essentially it's going to create a three-dimensional feeling to your films that probably wasn't there before. Um, so yeah, uh, I started uh, going very slow. These first 30 seconds you'll want to probably use for just general scenes. Of course, if you want to smooth it, you can do that. Um, if you want to move the camera around, you can, of course, do that. And that's why we have the model here for reference. And, um, if, you know, if we want to move the camera around while it's shaking, that's completely possible. Um, we can just maybe, let's just say we want to look at this uh, little hologram table here thing, whatever, and then move to the outdoors. Um, or at least looking to the outdoors, moving over here perhaps. Um, this is the Halo 1 Anniversary export. It's very new. This is um, Someone ported this out of Halo 1 Anniversary. Um, very, very nice model. But if we just want to pan through this little room here, we can do that using this model's root transform, not the polymesh, because the polymesh has the data on it. Um, so we don't want to screw with that. We want to make sure we move the camera with root transform. You can also do it this way, but um, you don't really want to move the camera attached to the, the model because, yeah, that, that'll just be weird. Also, I like to rename cameras uh, from the model names and the, the other cameras. So um, just naming this uh, man uh, holding camera, I guess. Anything but camera, because that could be kind of confusing. Um, we can just hide the camera, and then we'll see. Now, it looks a little bit janky, and that's why, you know, 
usually you'll want to smooth these things out here. Um, we'll do that now. We can just make sure we only smooth this out. So depending on like what kind of feeling you're going for, if you just want a really chill camera, just kind of just giving you the vibe that someone's holding it, you can do that, smooth it down. And yeah, we uh, we have that. So um, this is just version one. I just thought I would push this out real quick. Hopefully it can create uh, some cool scenes or help, obviously not create scenes, but it can uh, create some really uh, cool camera work in your film. And uh, if you guys have any requests, let me know. It's just one motion file. I start off just walking and then I start jogging in place. So we're going to get a lot more like rapid movements. And the you know, cool thing about this too is if you want to create, make sure that the camera is panning the same way as it is here, but you don't like the camera movement on the model, what we can do is just click the poly mesh and then move that by itself. So we retain the camera movement. Everything is pretty much the same, including your custom camera movement up here. Um, obviously you can create camera movement. Um, normally if you need to adjust the shakiness, if it looks weird, then you can adjust that. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. Creating, um, a really uh, cinematic feeling that just isn't in enough source filmmaker films. So, yeah, um, if this has been helpful to you guys, be sure to uh, uh, rate it on the Steam Workshop. And, yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll, I'll probably be coming out with more versions in the future. So, cheers.